Hispanic Heritage Month kicks off tomorrow, and here to kickstart celebrations is Houston Aztec Dance and Drums. We are joined by Abuela Mapi Rainflower to tell us all about this event and the celebrations that are coming. First of all, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let's start talking about Houston Aztec Dance and Drum. Tell us about the group first. We started 10 years ago um, performing in Houston under that name. That's our brand. But the traditional name of our group is Calmeca Tonantzin Yolilitziot. And it was founded by me and my three children. And I raised them all in the pre-Hispanic or you know, in the ceremonial spaces for 25 years. So you've been, the, the group's been going 10 years, but really the historical connections go back centuries, right? Yes. Tell us a little about that. So we are the descendants of Amer Indians of the Southern Plains regions in the United States. And then we also have to remember that our brothers and sisters in Mexico, Central America, and South America are also of indigenous descent. So we are practitioners of what's called the Mexicayot, which is the traditional Aztec dancing and drumming that comes from Central Valley of Mexico, Mexico City. And you were really describing it a little bit ago, how it is really a marriage of the of the indigenous people that were here, and then when the Spaniards came over and how the beat was created. Can mm. you talk about that? Yes, the heartbeat of Mother Earth comes from all of our drums, and that's all the indigenous people around the world. That's what unites us, is the drums, the elements, the fire, the water, the wind, the earth. And so that's the connectivity that we share with people when we share our dances. And, and so in that, to that end, the dances are, aren't just a performance. No. You're not just getting on stage. You mentioned it uh, like a blessing. Do I have that yes. right? Yes, yes. We call them um, four winds blessings because we're honoring the four, air, the four directions, right? But then there's also Father Sky, Mother Earth, and then the center that connects all of us through the drums and through the elements. And so when we're presenting, we are like thinking these types of thoughts and intentions for the earth and for the communities that we're sharing our dances with. So the drum beat is very loud and it, it forces a rhythm that connects all of us and it invigorates your heart to race. And so that's the reason why you get really excited. Like when you see mariachis and you get really excited, it's the same thing when you see Aztec That dance. same historical connection. Yes, when you see the, the danzantes, the yes. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, what, was, what is your message to uh, the younger generation to keep these traditions going, to keep you know, the original message from thousands of years ago? So the message that they left for us from Cuauhtémoc's mandate was to always remember that our sun would continue to rise because that even in the darkest times of whatever it was that we were all going through throughout the conquest and throughout our times of trying to learn the new laws and the new languages and the losing a bit of ourselves, we were able to always remember that the sun will continuously rise. And so that's what we were told to tell our children. And you continue to do that? Yes, we do. So, um, and, and we're going to do a dance coming up, or, or yes. one of your performances, or a yes. blessing in, the, in mm -hmm. the next segment. And and some of the dancers, I imagine, have sort of experienced this education the way you have. Yes. We have uh, teachers and elders that have passed this down. So most of the teachers and elders have done 20 plus years in the ceremonies. Usually our teachers are 25 to 30 years in it. So um, they have a lot of knowledge to share with us about not only the movements, but what the meanings are behind the movements. And so we like to take those concepts and put them back into our teachings. And then we also do it inside of the schools here in Houston and throughout the state. This performance, uh, the the outfits are beautiful. Can you just describe them a little bit and what maybe each piece means? Yes. In the regalia of this dance, usually you start out in all white when you're a beginner. And as you're able to add glyphs, it goes back to your day signs, to the codices, which is what people call the modern day Aztec calendar. And then the glyphs that go coincide with that. So we have teachings that go with that. And then as the dancers add regalia pieces to, I mean, uh, colors and different things to their regalia, then it changes uh, and it gets a little bit brighter and bigger. But it's supposed to denote how long you've been in the dance and how much you know. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell us what you brought? I brought a conch shell that was hand carved in Tula by an elder that had a vision. And so we use these. Um, they're like old trumpets per se. It's the same embouchure as a trumpet when you blow through it. Huh. And so that's how we uh, make the sound that makes the tones that you hear in the beginning and the end of our dances. 
So we'll be hearing that yes. in the next in the next segment. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, there's also uh, a farmers market that's yes. coming up. Can you can tell us about that. Yes, the Houston's Farmers Market is located off an of airline, and they're having their first Hispanic Heritage Month this Friday, and they've invited some of the really uh, to me, it's one of the heavy hitters of all of the city of the Ballet Folklorico and the mariachis. The, they chose mariachi calmeca and uh, Ballet Folklorico Mistec, and then our family. And I think a lot of us come from the inner city barrios, and I think it's really nice that they were able to add our community into that programming because a lot of our families have done a lot of work at the mercado there at the farmers market and over. it's changed quite a bit yes. up there has it yes. how do you what do you think about the new the new look i like it it's clean it's big it's huge it's definitely different from when we were younger when we were younger it was like the hangout spot for some of the older crowds and now it seems like it's it's Hit. Where where are where is the performance? Do you know exactly? Is it in like the the back area with the grass or the or we don't know? Okay, maybe yes. I'm saying too much. We're spoiling. Go yes. everywhere. Just anywhere. And you'll find them. Park and walk and listen for the drums and you'll find us what, or the mariachis. What time? I, maybe I missed that. What time? Is so it's starting? from three to nine and we're performing at four. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We're so, excited. And we're gonna we're so excited. Yes. We're gonna get to see it. Yeah, we're gonna get to feel it. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. All You're right, welcome. we've got more coming up in just a bit.